Jared here and today I'm in Port Austin, Michigan continuing my downtown, small downtown series. Uh, today we are going to walk around Port Austin which this is the first time I've ever been here but it looks like an awesome little town and we're going to take a look at this beach and everything they've got to offer. I'm really excited about it because just driving through here everything looks super cool so let's get walking around. So first things first I think we'll walk around the downtown and then we'll head down to the water last but look at this the sun just started to peek through and at the same time it started to rain a little bit so that's interesting which as you can see here the Port Austin Welcome Center so the Welcome Center is absolutely open and look at this this is really cool I wonder if we can get to that lighthouse somewhere this is a really nice Welcome Center Okay, so this is perfect to show you where Port Huron, or Port Austin is. So this is Lake Huron, and this is the thumb. So we're right in the tip of the thumb of Michigan. Mm -hmm. We've also got this nice little meeting room that was open. Man, look at that view overlooking the water. Hmm. This is pretty cool, what do you think? Makes me want to have a meeting of some sort. So the downtown's not overly large, but there's a couple really interesting things that I'd like to show you. So we'll just walk down and back and uh, take a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the way of shops and businesses, but they do have a hardware store. But what I found interesting coming into town is if you look over here across the street, there's, you know, the landing tavern, but look at this. There's a little, it looks like, I don't know if it's a bar or just a seating area for one of these two bars called the Pirate Cove. It's got a bunch of skeletons on the fence. I thought that was really cool. When I head back up the other side, I'll take a closer look. Actually, I think what it is, it's the outdoor seating area to this bar. Because there's a pirate flag in the window. But, like I said, I'll take a better look at that soon. Then over here we have the Copper Trout Cafe, which is closed. Sweet shop this way. I'm not sure where it is. As you can see here, we've got one little gift shop, Lake Street. It is closed at the minute. Oh, let's see if we can find this sweet shop. Oh, I bet it's in there. I bet it's in here. Fudge. I bet I'm wrong. So it looks like there's two souvenir shops or little gift shops right next to each other. The Lake Street Emporium. I don't know what this one's called. But it didn't look like they were connected. I could be wrong. And they got a little grocery store right here, Port Austin Market. But my brother tells me he's been here and he's pretty sure there's a separate sweet shop, so we're gonna go see if we can find that. Still on the lookout for the sweet shop, but I'll check this out real quick before I show the gallery. I like their little alleyway, how they put wood chips down it. That's nice. It's got a little gate at the end of it too. But the Cove Gallery for Local Artists. This is, this is very unique. This is the kind of stuff that I love finding in these little downtowns or these little small towns, these little special shops that you know you can only see in each particular town. You know, like a chain shop. It's too bad that it's closed. I seem to have horrible luck getting to places while shops are still open. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It reminds me of something that you might see in an escape room. Like in the lobby. Hopefully not in the room. <laughs> we go in there and there's just like a thousand locks on a dude to open up. Well, I guess there was more to this than I just thought. So what did you say this was? Well, a couple is supposed to lock it. Put their names on it, lock it, and then throw the key away. So like their relationship lasts forever. Oh, and you called it what? A love lock? Yeah, I guess so. Huh? 
So it's either he coined the term just now or this is a thing. Yeah. Interesting. I've never seen anything like this before nor heard of love locks. So like I said, there was a couple things that caught my eye coming through the town. This was another one. I'm really curious as to what this is up here. They look like you know, little sheds. I don't know if you can rent these. Are these like little tiny houses you can stay in? Or are these little workshops? Are they actual shops? Okay, Boucha Sweets and Treats. A bubble tea slash okay yeah they might be little individual shops oh yeah it's exactly what they are okay yeah, yeah yeah okay so it looks like they're double doors they open them up and you can shop out of them there's kimonos in that one what I'm not clear on is if are they all individually owned or is it all part of one Market. Oh, you can't even see in that one. Munzies. Gifts, sweet pies, fruit tea. Very interesting concept. Too bad it's not open. Dizzy Daisy Winery on the green. That is really cool. And they have these. I love seeing these lights strung between things like alleyways or in the case of this these little shop sheds but that is a really cool idea so if I'd have walked into this little area from this way I would have seen the sign Port Austin Village Green Shops and it looks like they're only open three days a week Thursday Friday 3 to 7 and Saturday 9 to 1 but this is a really cool idea if anybody knows where there's something similar to this, let me know, because I would love to go and visit it. Unfortunately, Port Austin is not anywhere near where I live to be able to come and see this very easily. So, Kitta Corner to that little area we just looked at, the Village Green Shops. They've got an interesting looking restaurant called The Bank. And it must have been built in an old bank probably, but it looks really cool. I wish I was hungry. I'd love to go in there and get something to eat. The Everything in this town, while it's just a little small town, I, I like it. It's unique. It's cool. Look at the little Statue of Liberty. I'll take a little bit of closer look at that in a minute. But up here, we've got an ice cream shop arcade we're going to take a look at. So this is also... An interesting shop, the White Elephant. So in the front here is uh, ice cream. You can go in there and order some. But look at this. We walk down here. It says arcade. Oh man, what are the odds that it's closed? Do do. Oh no, you can. Okay. Oh, that's small. But you know. <laughs> that's pretty neat. What in the world is this? Chinese mystery box? <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. So this is the other side of the bank. It looks like they've extended the restaurant. As you can see, it's got some nice outdoor seating and it's just a super cool brick building. I love old brick buildings. Man, I really wish I was hungry. They are open and it looked very busy in there. Looks like there's a little bit more outdoor seating right here. And they got themselves a little motel, Lakeside Motor Lodge. The sign's a little busted, but they're full up tonight, no vacancy. I think these little cabin looking things or little cottage things are part of the hotel you can rent. And then of course, you've got the more traditional motel style building. Some little kids in the pool. Dude, it is cold tonight. I don't know if that uh, pool is heated or maybe kids are just tough. 
And then earlier, when we first walked into the town, I was showing you this, the Pirate's Cove. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's outdoor seating for this bar here, or maybe even the two taverns share it. But looks like it's got some flame heaters or propane heaters out there. Some skeletons. Looks interesting. All right, last little bit of town that we're gonna show here, and then we're gonna go down to the water real quick. But this is Lisa's Loft, and there's a little cafe over here. But the first thing I always notice when I come into any town is if there's a bakery. And there is one that's not open. <laughs> oh, I like the little window display. Oh, it's not just a bakery, it's a deli as well. Sold out, and it sounds like they do quite well. So then right next to the bakery, they got this nice little seating area. But check this out, right over there. Adventures Escape. I have an escape room up here in Port Austin. I like these little garden boxes and seating. It's kind of a cute little cafe over there. And I'm guessing this is an ice cream shop. So it is an ice cream shop over there and it's got a nice little line outside. And some cool outdoor seating. So I'll come up here and take a look at this. What does this say here back here by the escape room? Oh, it's just like a little sign saying what their escape rooms are. But they've got it decorated nice back here. It's a small little building, so I can't imagine they're very large rooms. Hmm. The Flying Chameleon's Ghost Ship. It's got an interesting title. Holy crow. Man, you guys waited how long in line? A long time. It seems like it. Look at this. Look at the size of that cone. How much was that bad boy? Five dollars. Oh, that's not bad at all. I mean, you could buy a whole tub of ice cream for less than five dollars. Yeah, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> that actually seems very cheap for an ice cream cone out, doesn't it? Man, you guys all got giant waffle cones. Is it all good? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So this is the exact reason that I wanted to start doing a small downtown series on the channel. Because I would just love the idea of discovering small towns or visiting small towns that I've never been to and scoping out the downtown area and you know seeing unique interesting things and this town did not disappoint this is everything i was hoping for when discovering a new town it's not the biggest town you know, it's quite small but there's some really unique things about it and you know now it's a place that perhaps in the future i'll want to come back and visit or maybe even take a vacation in Fortunately, I keep hitting these little towns up when everything's closed, so I need to work on my timing. Well, that gives you a good idea of what the immediate downtown area looks like if you were to go this way. That's where that ice cream shop and the escape rooms were. There was some signs pointing in this direction that there was like a coffee shop and a laundromat, but I couldn't see it from the corner, so I'm assuming it's quite a ways down. And on some of these other cross roads that you know aren't part of the main strip there was a antique shop and some golf and you know other little shops that you can go and look at but i think what i'm going to do now is start taking a look at this water area because this looks super cool it looks like across the way here they've got a nice little play area and a splash pad but it doesn't look like that's accessible to from where i'm standing but I think I can get out on this pier or break wall. Let's go find out. This is a really nice, clean area. I like these giant boats too. Port Austin State Dock. Hmm. So, like I said, very nice and clean. I hope I can get over to that little uh, pier break wall area. Let me see if I can from this direction. 
It is a long walk out to the end here. And it's getting a little bit late, so I don't think I'm actually gonna walk out there. But this should give you an idea of what Port Austin has to offer on the beach. And this little beach in particular is not very big, but uh, I'm sure there's you know other access points along the coast that you can get to to get to the beach. You can see here there's some kayak rentals. But it's a lovely little town. Another little kid play area here, and I think I think up above that you can kind of see some little houses. I believe those are rentals. A few minutes ago I talked about these little cottages and they are for rent. Right up there. You can go to www.foreshorecottages.com or call that number and inquire about rental. I have no idea what it costs. That is something that I think I would be interested in doing maybe once because I do like this town. Now over here across the way, I don't think those are rentals. I think those are probably condominiums. But man, yeah, there's a lot to offer here as far as the water goes. Seems like a cool little vacation town here, Port Austin, Michigan. So I want to thank you for joining me here in Port Austin, Michigan today as we took a look around the downtown area and a little bit of the lakefront, Lake Huron if you will. Uh, Port Austin proved to be an interesting, cute city. It looks like a vacation destination if you will or sort of a northern town for some people in Michigan. It's not really northern Michigan, it's the thumb, but it would be up north for somebody. And there seemed to be you know, a decent amount to do. There's some pup puck golf up here, a couple really interesting restaurants, and a couple shops, stuff like that. You know, typical vacation town or downtown stuff, like fudge shop, ice cream shop, pizza shop, arcade, stuff like that. There's also a little lighthouse that you can go out to. I'll show it to you in a minute. It's a little bit hard to see because it's way out in the water, but uh, you can book tours for it. It's like $65 a person, I think is what they said, for groups of six, and they'll boat you out to it. it looks like you have to take a boat to get to it I'll take a look at that last thing like I said it's not gonna be you're not gonna be able to see it real good because it's way out in the water but it is there so you know just another interesting thing to see here in Port Austin so thanks for watching you can see that lighthouse way out in the water I'll do my best to zoom in here but so it's gonna be a little bit shaky because I am quite a ways zoomed in, but there's a better look at that lighthouse, as you can see. Looks like the only way to access it is via boat.